All right, welcome back to the Game Cave. I am Josh, this is Octopath Traveler 2, and I have decided that we are gonna take this ferry down here to the Anchorage port, and we are actually going to, uh, we're gonna go, the next chapter that we're gonna do is Agnia, but before that, I wanted to check out this Particio thing with, um, uh, I shall be your opponent. The scent of commerce. Prepare I, I wanted to yourself. see what that's all about, so we're gonna take a trip and our favorite rocket ship, and see what that's all about. Um, are these guys weak enough for me to not give a hoot? How's this? Cleaning time. <laughs> well, well. Easy. Oh, fiddle fell. I mean, she is. But... Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting that. Oh, that's right. I can just use the axe that I have on her <laughs> and beat the ever look. How do I get out there? Is that a cave? Is there a stand aside or fight? Is there like a port it's thing my that I can turn use? Now. <laughs> my turn. <laughs> well, well. Wait, let's see. Oh my God, 1700. Okay. Here we go. Um, is there a port? Or like a, a thing where I can get on a boat somewhere near. Uh, my way. Mm. Ooh, oh God, I hate these things. Ready? Get well, out of here. Well, well that's not and broken so at all. Goes. I still don't think we've found anything that we can get more um, inventor stuff from. So this has like a little peninsula that you could do. This is the farthest that I've come I over here. Your opponent. Uh, my turn. Because I didn't want to go too far out of my well, way. Because well. obviously, you know, you can just keep exploring, exploring, and leveling up and leveling All up. And I, up. I didn't want to get too into the weeds with exploring because I would just, you know, do it endlessly, and then everything would be a joke, more of a joke than it is now. <laughs> there it is. Okay, bam. We're gonna go see what that cave is all about. Let's play. Ready? <laughs> well, well. So it goes. Find the inventor class, give it to your fastest character. Buy a big powerful weapon. <laughs> Profit. <laughs> Time to clean up the filth. It's my turn now. Oh, I guess Agnia occasionally goes first. Well, well. Because normally um, I take what I you have want. to reload the catapult every time that you use it, but I mean <laughs> Fucking it one shots shit, so May I have a dance? All right. Cleaning time. Well well. I mean I was doing a decent job of one shotting shit before up. I bought this axe. Now it's just like this is hilarious, you know? Alright. So let's go see a man about a dog. Pretty sure this is that's nothing. Uh... Oh, come on. I just want to see what level play. it is so that I can be afraid. Be very afraid. Ready? Well, well. Easy. And so it goes. Too easy. And since it's on turn one, I'm getting the extra JP, too. Duh, never mind. Roda! At least you know it's there. Holy crap, Spackle. <laughs> that was scurry. I almost died. Cleaning time. What is the special? As swift as a snake. <laughs> oh, it's well, the octopuff. Well. Yeah, that shit misses. I'm pretty sure you can only what hit with magic. Do. So, thief skills. Afraid of the dark. Afraid, Afraid of, dark. of the dark. What? There you go. I've gained yeah, baby. Yeah, baby. Holy 
Holy good lord. Dude, Elemental Barrage is such a good move. I love Oswald. Josh, why do you always pick the Scholars? Oh, gee, I don't know. There's a, oh, that's so much. That's so much of everything. Okay. Time to go to the menu and learn skills. <laughs> okay. Oh, well, just one skill. Dagger Dance. Unleash a dagger attack on all foes. Yes. That gives us hard worker. Receive additional JP. I didn't even notice that one. Awesome. So now we have two people. Okay. So she's got hard worker. She's going to have... She's going to have the thing for the EXP and JP at nighttime. And he's got EXP. So if we have these three and then Particio with his extra money... We're just getting bonus on 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 bonus. Okay. Um. Well, let's hop to. So it's still nighttime. Even though it's clearly daytime. Because you have to move screens for that shit to change. Ready? And by the way, this doesn't cost resources either. It's free. I, I take what I, I can't want. help but feel like that's a design oversight. The, like, it didn't cost me anything. I didn't even have to do a boss fight. I just walked into the room. The guy gave me this I'll ability. And it's just, it's it's like the best thing in the world. Here I come. Not this it just time. feels like a design time. oversight. Well, well. Next. I mean, look at that. All tidied up. If I, if I weren't so obsessed with kicking everything's ass super quick, <laughs> I would feel bad for using it. <laughs> Western Trapu Hapu. Ooh, level 18. The only reason why I wanted to go to this one first is because it's the only one that wasn't... Oh my... Ooh. Oh, Battle Theme 2? Oh man. Oh, I like this one better. The first one's not bad. This is better. <laughs> My turn. Oh, interesting. She got a she got the Psalm of Prayer. Oh. Well, well. Next. Whoa, hey, hey, whoa. Uh elemental barrage? <laughs> I've gained valuable insights. Thank you, Oswald. <laughs> uh, is Hikari still in the thousand range? No, he's at three thousand, isn't he? He sure is. Oh, can't wait to get that last one. What is it? Deal more damage. Well, <laughs> doesn't get any more specific than that. Increases the maximum damage you can deal by equipped character. Oh, break damage limit. Awesome. So, uh, speaking of break damage limit, I was actually, um, for the first time in my life, I actually went back and played and beat Saga Frontier, um, the, uh, the remaster, not the original. Um, I don't know what differences there are in the remaster, uh, if it matters at all, um, but I, hey, sir, can I steal from you? Whoa. An apothecary who specializes in Kampo, a traditional medicine in the Hone region. He spends most of his days deep in the island's interior where the ingredients of Kampo grow in abundance. Interesting. Are you still there at night? No? Rats. Let's play. Thinking time. Now it begins. Not this time. You know, I should have used Analyze with him. But we're going to get into enough well, fights well. to the point where we're going to discover their weaknesses anyway. All tidied up. And it makes no difference. Um, right, so Saga Frontier. Um, I, uh, I had never, whoa, hey, what, what is this? This is the same symbol as the inventor. Is this another class? 
I'm surprised you managed to find this place. Well, it was kind of hidden behind trees. This is the Hunter's Guild, and I am its master. Am I going to get access to the Hunter Secondary class? 120. Of course. Of course. Because, of course, they look like a child, but it are actually a 500-year-old dragon. Japan. <laughs> More importantly, if you found this place, that means that you have promise. Hey, I hereby recognize you as one of us. Google gobble, one of us. I look forward to seeing what you can do as a hunter. Dude, bro, my god! Get a license. Secondary job licenses can be obtained at guilds throughout the world. You can obtain up to three licenses at a single guild. However, there are no guilds for special secondary jobs. So only a single traveler can use these jobs at a time. Completing guild tasks... Complete guild tests and you can acquire multiple licenses. What? Enabling multiple travelers to use the same secondary job. <gasps> so I could have... Oh, so I could have three people. Because it says maximum of three. I could have three people be hunters? That's ridiculous. Join the Hunter's Guild, sure. There's a foul creature lurking in the quicksand. Any who enter its territory are swallowed whole. Catch it and I will give you a license. Okay. A sailor's hole. Of course the hunter would have hunts as their missions. A large shadow within a whirlpool. Rumor has it that this beast is the source of those swirling tides. Catch it and I will give you another license. Interesting. Hear more information? Oh, what are EX skills? Is an altar dedicated to the huntress. Legends say that when the chosen hunter visits that altar, they will be granted a special power. I'm certain the chosen hunter will have no trouble whatsoever finding that altar. Legendary arms. Now that you're a part of a guild, you ought to know about the exercising bow. Um, we prefer push-ups and pull-ups. Very simple, good exercises. It was passed down in Timberrain's royal family for generations. Only soldiers recognized by the king were permitted to use it. I myself have only laid eyes upon it once when I was young. I surmise any adept, any adept with the bow would like to give it a shot. Okay. Okay. So, I was wondering what the hell um, uh, EX skills were. It says uh, by meeting certain criteria... I wonder if you have to find two in order to unlock both of them, or if one altar is enough. Also, I wonder if it's an altar for all of them, or if, like, it's like, oh, you have to find a book for the scholar, you know what I mean? A lot of things to look forward to in this game, which is cool. Alright, who would do best with the Hunter? I think you. Because it would give you access to a lot of cool shit. So we're going to make Hikari. We're going to give him cat ears. Ah! <laughs> oh, look, there's a little extra two icons there for when you have the other ones. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, that's right. It shares JP. Ooh. Gain an increased chance of attacking first in battle. Raises critical rate. More rare monsters. That would be really good, but I'd have to get six, which means I'd have to learn four. I'd have to give up a lot of JP in order to do that. And I kind of want... Uh, that's not really that big of a deal, because I'm nowhere near... I think at one point I did 4,900 with his Zantetsuken, whatever the hell his move is called. But I don't think that I've been anywhere near that. Of all allies for two turns, that's pretty good. Hmm. To be honest, these are not great skills. Huh. But the support skills are fantastic. Acting twice when breaking a foe. Oh. This will not trigger in succession. Sure. Okay. 
That's really good. Um, oh, it's already getting expensive. Critical rate would be really good too. What if I could do that thousand, get that extra rare monsters? That would be really good. Okay, so he got the raises the equipment of physical attack when breaking an enemy. Sure, raises the amount of latent power gained by it. All right, so I don't care too much about that. There you go. That extra critical. That's going to be fantastic. And now we're starting to get into the I have too many fucking skills <laughs> territory. Um, equipment for him. Makeshift axe. Ooh. Ooh, actually. I'm going to give you a regular S axe because I don't really attack with you. And, and, the, um, the inventor's catapult actually uses the strongest weapon that you have not the strongest weapon that she has equipped which is very important to note because now i can put this on him a person who is actually going to be using the axe and uh you know bob's your uncle uh we'll give it the critical right sure neat um at some point i will definitely have to uh oh god what awesomeness God, just the way that this, the way that the new theme starts is so fucking good. What to do? I want to just test and see if I actually understood well, that. Well. Nope, she has to have it equipped. Prepare Holy yourself. crap, I was wrong, and now I'm in trouble. <laughs> mm, don't I have a an all slash or some shit? the pride of Ku. There we go. So I will put that axe back on her. <laughs> Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Um, remove. Shit. I mean, I suppose I could just go buy another one. Uh, whoa! You are strong. Like really strong. Holy crap! I have. Much his wife, his sight, hearing, and other senses are keen. He has well-developed feel for danger, and the island's weather pattern and geography feel like an extension of his body. His tools as a hunter, experience, and instinct. Sure, they are. Interesting. How about you, little lady? Still quite powerful. <laughs> These things under the husband or powers of observation or keep all blah, blah, blah. interest. And they are not there during the day. Which means that I can only mugger them. Yeah, because I think purchases during the day. Yeah. Alright, well let's continue forth. <laughs> now that we've let's stumbled play. upon something awesome there. Meantime. <laughs> Hikari. Catman Hikari. Well, well. Oh wait, could I turn Rone into a Catwoman? I take what I want. Um, definitely not thinking about it. <laughs> Let the experiment begin. Dun, dun, Ready. Dun, dun, dun. Ah. Well, well. Easy. Nice. All tidied up. Indeed. Oh, Alifan. The sprightly bracelets. I think that's speed. Yeah, that's a shitload of speed. Holy crap. There you go. Holy criminy. Oh, don't mind me just picking up 30 extra speed. Well, well. Right. 
Saga Frontier. And so it um, goes. So I actually just finished uh, the first storyline, which uh, there's six or seven different characters, and you can play all their storylines individually and stuff, and it's... I shall be your it's so... My turn. It's really jarring. Um, the way that it works. Well, Can I just well. kill it? All right, there we go. All tidied up. Um, it's really jarring the way that it works because it's it. First of all, the game doesn't explain anything to you. Like, bleh, let's not go there. Um, the game explains nothing to you. It's ridiculous. Uh, you just kind of get thrown in, and if you step in the wrong direction, you die. What to do? Even if you step in the right direction, sometimes you just die. The game is very RNG heavy. It doesn't explain any of the mechanics. It's a very very difficult game because it does not I, I don't even want to say it doesn't hold your hand it basically sees you reaching your hand out to it slaps your hand breaks the skin and then pulls your hand back and goes oh I'm sorry and then dumps salt in the wound that's how it treats you and um my turn if you can stick it out which I completely don't blame you for it is kind of rewardingly fun but it's not for everyone um it's for sure not for everyone. Uh, oh. Oh, that's right. I'll do what I must. I mean, I'm kind of glad we went up there to get the, uh, the hunter class. That's dope. All tidied up. She needs 23 more, and he needs a little bit more for that more rare monsters, because I need more rare monsters. Ah, real monsters. Um... Like there's, there's like monster class in Saga Frontier, and like you absorb other monsters in order to, um, in order to improve your monster. But like, I don't understand it, because like there was one point where I absorbed a a black dragon and I turned into a boar, <laughs> and I was like, a, what? And you know, you turn into a boar, and then hey, we finally get to see what the. Uh, the thing is, Aber's Reckoning. Unleash a powerful dagger attack on all foes. The greater your speed, the more potent the attack. Okay, that's a little disappointing. But now we get that. That's what I really wanted. Bam. Oh, give it to me. Give it to me. In a game of grinding, the EXP and JP increases are king. Time to clean up the filth. Hmm. Ready? But, um, yeah, so I, I completely didn't understand how anything about the monster works. Um, I take what I want. And there was a point in the late game where I absorbed something from just like a flower. And my monster turned into a black dragon. And whatever form your monster is currently taking is what its stats are. So, like, if I if if I was, like, a phoenix or something like that, I would have crazy good stats. And then if I absorb something and it turned me into a boar, I would have, like, the worst stats in the game. So, at one point near the end of the game, my monster turned into a, um, uh, black dragon. <laughs> And I was like, oh, um, I'm not absorbing anything for the rest of the game because I don't want that to go away. <laughs> mm, we'll go with this. Oh, shit, I found it. I don't know how I found it. When the chosen hunter appears, I shall bestow power upon them. Oh, do I have to bring Ochet? Or do I have to do a certain something to become the chosen? Now we know where it's at. Oh, and it marks it on the map. Glory be to you. Thank you very much. You get to this town and grab Ochet. Oh, shit, the town's right here. Okay. Makes it nice and easy. Let's grab Ochet real quick. 
Uh, where is Le Pube? That's the item store. Uh, uh, I'm s excuse me. Where is the universal symbol for pub? Oh, there it is. But there is a... Oh, there's a man there. He's blocking my way to the thing. Alright, let me grab Ochet. Uh, oh, Hikari's level 20. Shit. That's what I said the cutoff was going to be. Damn it. I just got the cool stuff for him. <laughs> Can I... No, I don't have to. Oh, that's right. She's got that bird. Whee! Uh, I'm not going to worry about that. But we're going to run back there and see if... Maybe somebody has to have the hunter class mastered. We'll see. In about five seconds. Chosen Hunter, unto thee I grant new power. Yay! Oh, what a great idea for us to come this way. Ochet learned the EX skill Indomitable Beast. So it does look like you only get one per altar, which means that there's two altars for every class. Interesting. All right, now what the fuck does that do? Oh, she just has it. Okay. Raise your physical attack, evasion, and speed for three turns. Okay. Uh, no, all right with that, I guess. That is a good combination of buffs, and it is three turns. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Still, pretty cool. Pretty cool way to learn to learn EX skills, and I don't think EX skills were even in the first game. So very cool. Um, right. Let's equip Ochet. Uh, Ochet is already equipped. Never mind. No, she's not. There we go. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> All right, uh, now, let's get this quest. A damn slugger to late again. He's got skill, but skill's worthless if there ain't no fish to catch. I wish he'd wake up on time. You know, sleep ain't my problem. The late riser. Well, we gotta go wake somebody up. What a quest. Uh, now where is the commerce thing? The shipyard? Oh, I should probably go grab Portocello or whatever the hell his name is. Or do I even need to? Yep, okay. What did I call him? <laughs> Particio? <laughs> I don't even remember what I said. Uh, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Change party. Hot dog. Lieutenant Dan. We'll sack the town later. I'm going to do this first. Ooh, wee. Look at that. Guess this area is a shipyard. Indeed. How dare you try to pawn off that miserable vessel on me? Oh, my. What? I assure you, sir. That wretch is the legendary shipwright's apprentice? Unbelievable. Simply unbelievable. You, you have my sincerest apologies, sir. I, I had no idea. And that ridiculous sum she asked. Does she not even know the market value of a ship? You have the right of it, sir. 
Unbelievable. Ridiculous. Indeed. Fah. This has been a colossal waste of my time. I am furious. 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 Good day, sir. I say good day. Uh, wait, please. The apprentice of a legendary ship ride, eh? My merchant's nose is tickling. It's the Santa Commerce. Well, all right. Let's go commercialize. I'm glad the game made me walk over here. Turn around and leave. You won't find anything here but an incomplete ship. <laughs> Lucky for me, that's exactly what I'm looking for. Oh, is it? Excuse me? The name's Particio. I'm a merchant from that big old western continent. Mind if I take a gander at your work? This ship is not for sale. Didn't say I was looking to buy it. This is what that rich fellow was complaining about, crossing an arm and a leg. He asked me my price, so I told him. Nothing more to it. Well, how much is this here tough? I'm mighty curious myself now. A hundred thousand leaves. Woof! But I already said it wasn't for sale. If you have a problem with that, you can just go home. Boy, she's awfully abrasive. Huh, so that's the miserable vessel, huh? What's amazing? Half finished and left high and dry for a while by the looks of it. <laughs> My merchant sense is tingling. This here ship's a must buy. <laughs> 100,000, huh? That's a lot of scratch. I don't have that sort of capital on me right now. <laughs> right now? Okay. I'll need to save up, then swing back when I do. Are you serious? This is actually... So, didn't I say something about this when we first started? That he was, like, gonna go around and, like, make his, like, merchant's web and, like, funnel the money back into the town and shit? Ah, oh, it's so cool. So I gotta find some way to make a hundred grand and then come back? That's a lot of money. Um... I do have things that I can sell. And I haven't sacked the town yet. But I am, oh, that's so cool that that is actually the thing that they're doing. All right, see, this is what I like. I like this, when the game actually does cool and unique things. And yes, I saw, I, you know, I said it and saw it coming, but that doesn't change the fact that it's still awesome. So, this town is tough as nails. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and come back here later. Um, I mean, it, it pretty much everything, everyone in town is five strength or higher. There's like a couple of them that are three, but for the most part, this town is just, it would be exhausting to try and actually, uh, it would be exhausting to actually try and um, get the stuff out of. So, we're gonna go ahead and, is that Hikari? Uh, thanks dude. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and just go to the next chapter of people. And where's that hidden item? Oh, okay. Um, which will be Agnia, 
But that's going to be the end of this episode. So thank Dream Flower. Oh, put Sargus to sleep. Sure it does. It is called Dream Flower. But that's going to be the end of the episode. Sorry it was a little on the duller side. But thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate the fact that you do. And, and if you're enjoying the content or not, make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe, all those good things. And if you want to catch up on the social medias that we have, the links to those things will be down in the description below. On the Twitch channel, we actually do stream a lot of community stuff. Uh, Smash Brothers tournaments on Tuesdays and single player Sundays and stuff like that. But if you don't want to do any of that stuff, because YouTube is your jam, well then you can just wait for tomorrow for the next upload. See you then. Peace.